Hi, this is Quas from Team Liquid, and this is my solo lane tactics guide to Nautilus versus Hecarim. So levels one to two in this matchup, what you want to do is just get good trades with your E and play around your E whenever it's off cooldown. You want to be walking up and trading with the Hecarim, and whenever it's on cooldown, then you want to back off for a little bit and not take any free damage, as you will be able to out trade him pretty easily once you have your E available. But otherwise, you can just Last hit and play safe until it's back up. So I was 3 to 4, you want to be doing pretty much the same thing. Your rip type is going to be doing the same amount of damage. So you're going to be using playing around that and saving your Q in case you get ganked. And try not to use your W since it's not very mana efficient. Uh, it won't protect you from too much damage and it won't do as much damage as well. You want to generally just be saving mana to use E every time. This matchup is going to be much of an issue for you since you'll be able to outtrade him. The only thing is that to be able to win this matchup you'll be having to push into his turret and shove it in the wave over and over again. So having a ward up is mandatory as well as saving your Q to escape ganks as well and not dive in. Those 5 to 6 you want to just be still using your E aggressively to push him in and get good trades. And once you get your ultimate, you can set up ganks with your jungler to try to kill him if it's pushing the turret and you wait for it to push back into you. And pretty much, um, you can also look for a place around the map. Since you're going to be pushing him in, you, can, you have freedom to TP to any place in the map and make plays with your team. In teamfights, what you want to be doing is keep an eye on Hecarim since he's going to be flanking and trying to kill your carries. You have really good peel for him, you can lock him down with your ultimate and also your passive and your Q and you can keep him locked down, so just keep an eye on him and make sure that he lets him kill your carries and you can also obviously look for picks on enemy champions if you can, so there's a lot of things you can play team fights, but Nautilus is a really good pick into Hecarim because he counters him in those solo kill aspects that he can get. Runes for this matchup, you want to get Magic Pen, Marks, Health per level Seals, CDR per level Glyphs, and AP Quins. You can also change those up for Armor Quins if they have an AD jungler as well. Since you have, if you do have Armor Quins, you can pressure a lot easier and not worry about early game gank since you're going to be really tanky. Otherwise, just go for the AP Quins as they'll provide you with the boost amount of damage and just solid stats overall. For Masters, you want to go for 921-0, as it'll provide you with tankiness and just a decent amount of AP to win the lane. For a skill order, you want to start with your E and get a point in W level 2, max your E first, and maybe get a Q level 3 if you think you're going to get a gank coming your way, otherwise you just max E first and get your Q level 4. For item builds, you want to use Star Durance Ring and 2 potions, and that'll allow you to push him in early M. Then you want to go back and get a Dorn's Ring if you if you can. And the first item you want to get in this matchup is going to be a Glacial Trout. As it provides you with a decent amount of armor and also the cooldown reaction is helpful in trades. As well as the mana to spam a lot of your Riptides onto them. Thanks for watching this guide. Make sure to check out the rest of my videos here at LawClass.com.